Hello, Dan and Abby. Hello. Hi, Vinny. Welcome to Two Point Hospital. Thank you. Um, can mm-hmm. you please fix my broken arm? Well, I can fix it, but let's not call it a broken arm. Let's call it broken wing, and you actually come in looking like a bird. Ah, it's wacky. It's wacky. Okay. Yeah, you'll see. Two Point Hospital is a spiritual successor to Theme Hospital. Was that a big thing in like Europe? I think it's like, yeah. Okay. I, th- I think it's one of those things like people like Theme Hospital and Paradroid and like... Daniel Dwyer games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, uh, yeah, Justin Calvert games, like th- that kind of stuff. So I was not a huge Theme Hospital game, but it's a, it's a you'll get, you guys will both get it. It's okay. very okay. much in that themes milieu okay uh it's 35 dollars. i'll just say that uh pc mac linux nothing i haven't seen anything on console and i before we jump in here uh it is i believe developed by at least two of the people who worked on theme hospital so there's some pedigree there uh so spiritual successor spiritual, exactly some of the original team we all know but, what that means nowadays with people on kickstarter going yes out we making, don't have the ip but <laughs> hey we made that <laughs> oh, thing. castlevania fake mega yes. man yes, so similar yes. gameplay exactly okay. i think even not being super familiar with the hospital uh, maybe even more than similar okay. okay so i'm gonna just jump in here to a hospital i have running uh and then we'll go start a new one uh so some neat stuff with showing people on your friends list who are playing What's the uh, word for that? Yeah, what would you call it? Uh, that's a social engagement, networking, asynchronous multiplayer hooks. Okay, okay cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's jump What's in the there. What's the acronym? Uh, s- 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 Smearfest. Oh, it's Smearfest? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Smearfest. Why didn't you just say that? <laughs> um, Hogsport, is that a Harry Potter thing? Yes, this is all Harry Potter themed. Yeah, okay. Hogsport, so <laughs> their favorite that in bar Europe? to go to. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, here, here's my, uh, here's my hospital. Here's my assistant. Uh, that Mark, is an empty Mark, lobby. <laughs> Mark Griffin Blorf. <laughs> Blorf uh, I mean, he puts the sorting hat on the patients and they run around to the different <laughs> I don't rooms. Know what any of that Why means. do they have lightheads? Okay, so I paused it. Oh, are they feeling lightheaded? Yeah. Uh, Abby, you, uh, Abby, you get it. Pretty You're good. gonna love it. <laughs> pretty good. Oh, no. well, okay, let me start off by saying I actually in the early game, uh, early uh, playing of this, I actually really like this game. Right. Okay. I think I'll explain later on why some of the stuff I think weighs it down in a way that makes it unfun. Okay. Uh, but I'm okay with the puns. I'm okay with the goofiness. Uh, listen, it can get real dark if you go into actual medical That's fair. franchising and industry. I'm okay with goofiness. I just think puns. Oh, they're, this is This all is not pun. the worst way to do a pun, but... It's 110% pun. Okay. I like it. So patients come in your hospital. They hit the reception desk, right? Right. They then get sent usually to a general practitioner, which would be over here. Okay, so that's like the general doctor who's right. like, okay, uh, let's see what's wrong with you. They diagnose you. They then send you off to somewhere else. So if you have lightheadedness, you might go to the deluxe room. So is that like a deluxe specialist room. that sends you to? Yeah. Or? Uh, yes, pretty much. And okay. then they'll go in here and get their head fixed. Did is that you a room? build these rooms? Yes. So oh. everything in here I had to build. Uh, I'm not sure of everything in this starting hospital, but wow. yes, you do build all these rooms. Could you have spruced up this lobby a I little know, bit? It's, it's all rough. Bare. It's I can, not great. Put down a carpet. <laughs> Why is it that big? You're Give wasting a lot of floor machine. space. Uh, listen, my hospital, my rules. Okay, all right. Uh, so, or they can send you to the pharmacy, right? These are very basic things. They send you to the pharmacy. This guy mixes you up a cocktail of drugs and you're good. Okay. This is a ward where it's like another uh, diagnosis room. If the doctor is like, okay, you need to sit in the ward. We need to watch you under observation. Okay, right. so it's for the sleep-ins. Yeah. Uh, they don't th- have private quarters here. This is another diagnosis room. Uh, it's like, hey, doctor couldn't really figure out what's wrong with you. Go to general diagnosis. Don't need... It's that a- just looks like solitary confinement. Yeah, that's solitary <laughs> confinement. There's nothing so, in there. So we'll get to this in a second. This is just the rest of the basic stuff. Here's a staff room for breaks. <laughs> looks great. Cool. What are they Enjoy watching? Their one each, couch. each other. They're watching the back of that door. <laughs> and they're watching each other. This guy is telling a great story. It looks like the old whiskey media couch. <laughs> yeah, that's what, you know, we got it from a, hotel, or a hospital staff room. <laughs> this is the toilet. She's plunging the, the toilet. Uh, yeah, there's no sink in this no bathroom. Windows? It's okay. No, there is a sink. It's between the toilets. Oh, yeah, so there it is. Okay. Are you placing the individual components inside the rooms, or yes. is this just like, yeah. hey, here's your thing? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start this up. Um, I will say some of the things off the bat that kind of struck me not a lot of keyboard shortcuts mm. so i just made some spacebar pause the game 
uh, one and two I have set up for you can see over here to go into slow speed and then uh, move it forward to fast so speed. You made them within the game, or did you have to do some weird like, no, third no, party no, app no, or I something? Just, I just kind of went into the settings. Okay, so you okay, can just do so that here. Not too hard. Yeah, just went right. in, it, it was just weird that they weren't mapped. Right. Like yeah, you'd think, like look at all the empty spaces that are in here. For, at least it gives you the the opportunity yeah. if you want to put it on your mouse. Or for something. sure, for yeah. sure. But like delete item wasn't mapped to oh, delete. Weird. That's odd. I, maybe this is mine. I can I can try and reset it back to. So I was playing. A uh, demo version, a preview version of this, oh. and my it, it killed my save. Um, so when it went to the full thing, killed my save. Maybe this is different. Uh, I'll just say if it's not, map some stuff. It'll make your life a lot easier. Okay. Uh, let's get back in. Okay. And let's start it up. So th these guys all have little kind of uh, sim style uh, feelings. I'm bored. I'm happy. I'm uh, hungry. I'm, I'm a Wallace and Gromit character. I'm a Wallace and Gromit <laughs> character. Uh, so he's gonna go get uh, treated in the deluxe room. People will queue up, and then you know, meaning they'll if there's not enough room in the place, they'll right. sit down. So putting benches in front of each thing is a good idea. It seems like a lot of the proximity for the things you are trying to achieve. Let's say a bench for somebody to sit, a magazine rack so they're not bored has to be very local, okay, and very tight. People don't like moving around a lot. So if okay. I put uh, benches here, right? And people are waiting for the general practitioner. They'll just mill about over here. They won't necessarily sit in my waiting room I've made. Well, I love what you're doing in the top right of this lobby. Over here. Yeah, a lot of good use of space there. Uh, so a lot of time what I'll do is just bare minimum until the hospital's going. Okay. Uh, so th this is a functional hospital. Once you get to about one star in a, any given hospital, you can then back out to the map and it'll usually open up another level. So you just have to hit like that bare minimum, and then it's like, hey, if you want to move on, you can, or yes. you can keep building. You can this stay one here. Gotcha. So um, I've gotten this one, this one, this one, but we do have some hospitals we can just start in. That's probably the best way to explain what's going on. Can we on. go to the carnival instead? Yeah, let's go there. Uh, let's just hang out here and zoom in. It seems about as bare as my hospital. Right. <laughs> uh, I want funnel cake. So this one I'm not going to do because I didn't have fun in this one. If it's the one I remember, uh, you have to put radiators in each room because it's. Cold. It's cold. So is this untouched right now? These, like these, as we go in? Yeah, these two are the ones I have access to are untouched. So let's okay. go. Let's try tumble. Okay. Why were radiators so much more annoying? Because you have to put them in each room and they're not there by default. So like, I'll show you as you build a room okay. why that kind of becomes a thing. A uh, small town attract tourists from the across the country, climb Tumble Ridge, blah, blah, blah. And you'll need to build fracture wards. So there's usually something special in each little thing, like the radiators or one of them had a clown thing I just did. Um, Does this mean you can finally fix my broken wing? Nope. We'll have to see what it's called. Okay, so a helipad. it's a cool looking hospital, right? Oh, it's a wait, farm. Wait, that's just, yeah, that's a farm. <laughs> oh, okay, wait. Is there a roof that we're just not seeing? Are you just seeing this the, is, uh, this is my hospital? slice here? Okay. Oh, I see. Uh, I can buy these plots oh. to, uh, to expand my hospital. Oh. But right now, this is my hospital. Okay, okay. I see this kind of, yeah, I guess the fracture ward wasn't the playable area, is part of the, um, the, the gimmick for this hospital. People it's are going to be fl flown in. Dangerous to me to have the. Um, Helipad directly in front of the front doors, but yeah. I don't know, it's just me. Like right when you get wheeled out. Yeah, well, you know, there's two other doors okay. here. Uh, so let's, I paused it and let's just start by making a hospital. All right. So the first thing I need is a reception desk. Ooh, I doctors. love this shit. You want doctors. We want a reception desk. Let's just put it right here. People coming in. Perfecto. Uh, and then we want, um, we're going to have to hire somebody to run the desk, which is an assistant, okay. right? So they all have traits, uh, good Cat at customer nut? service. <laughs> I don't know where that <laughs> stuff manifests. These <laughs> slots here are usually the ones I go with. And I, I generally, as this stuff gets m more and more heady, I just go with the person who, who is the most expensive. Okay. okay. You know, El Elliot Kimbo Cat is also a good is name. is not quite there, but I think we should hire Cat Nut. Oh, Cat Nut's actually their name. Because they actually also have yes. weird weird traits, like cheese for brains. Oh. Uh, yeah, I didn't just say Cat Nut. No, I saw it on the screen. <laughs> uh, this is a Hunger Games reference. I don't know if you've seen Hunger Games. This oh, is, yeah. Yeah, the main character is called Cat Nut. Oh, okay. Uh, and she's got a sick bow. All right, so let's hire uh, this person to work here. We're also going to need, uh, well, I'll just let, I'll let you guys see it play out. Okay. I, I just got to say, as a big Hunger Games fan, uh -huh. I really love her sister, Piss Rose. <laughs> Dan, is, Dan is finding this all hilarious. I think I saw that first movie and I don't remember anything. <laughs> and I, and that, her like love interest, yeah. you know him, Penis? Yeah. yeah, Penis though, it goes through such a weird change. I know. Like is, is Penis good? Is Penis bad? I, I just never really so know. It's so hard to tell. It's so hard to tell. So um, here we are running. 
This is this is it. We're waiting for patients to come in. Gotta say, I, I like the look. Me too. Yeah. I, like I said, I like this. Uh, yeah. It, it, there's parts of it that just sometimes seems like the, this is a, not a great hospital. No, you have one staff member <laughs> and they're not a doctor. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's speed this up. Where are the patients? There's no doctors. Why, Why would they come need, here? Do you need more rooms? I don't need more rooms. Okay. I want. I guess I could buy. Is it what? playing? Is it pause? It's no. It's playing. Usually people start coming in. What can you offer for right. patients right well, now? I'll I'll move on. Ooh. Okay. I have to say, this game does make me just want to build a hospital. Oh look, I can build a reception room now. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Is there like a free build mode? I don't uh, know, like where it's like I just want to make a cool looking thing. I guess that's probably not the point. Okay, so he's. This is to teach me how to build reception. This is my fault. I haven't done this one yet. So let's get rid of this thing. Okay. This cool reception desk. Goodbye. Don't fire Ellie Akimbo. Like Oops, sorry. Uh, don't fire. No, we're going to build a reception room. Wandering this cavernous room. Let's. See. I've never done a reception room, so let's see how this works. So rooms have minimum requirements. This okay. room only needs to be two by three. That is a very small reception room, so let's make it as tiny as possible. Okay. How's this radio stuff? I've been hearing like little commercials yeah. and stuff. It's okay. Oh, no, I've done this before. I've done this before. This lets you have like multiple receptionists. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, it's not. Is this just like a big table thing? Yeah, it's like okay, not really a room. Yeah, nice. so this is like the little flappy door that yeah. they come in and oh, out of. Oh, it's bothering me. It's not centered. Yeah. Can you fix that? Uh, I can. Hold on. I'm just going to put two of these here. Uh, the whole room, you mean? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Uh, sometimes you have to be a little careful. Well, you have to be careful with pathing. Yeah. Can you uh, get behind that? Yeah. Uh, he's going to come in the flappy door. This is a big, this is a big one. This didn't need to be this big. I, li I like the animations now. Everything pops up and everything, like the sounds and everything. It yeah, seems like there too. is a, a good... It's like polished. Yeah, yeah. So just to use this as a little uh, microcosm for the rest of everything, you can go in and then add stuff to here. And you want a little filing cabinet to make it... Uh, there's a prestige for each each room. Let me click on but it. But so does that, it. like, if you get a filing cabinet, does that open up, like, another thing you can do? Not or? really. It it does certain things. It has certain attributes that make it, hey, this person will be happier working in here. Gotcha. Or you'll get the prestige rating of your hospital higher if it looks cool. Okay. I mean, stuff, certain stuff does have a gameplay effect. Like, a trash can will stop litter from being on the ground. Right. Okay. The Happy uh, Home Academy comes by, and you'll get a better rating. It, it's Kind of a little like it that. It does yeah. remind me of it. Uh, so yeah. like if you put a plant in, like sometimes your staff is happier. It'll tell you this is a decorative item, right? So you, you'll make the ho the hospital more attractive, which right. has certain, you know, get another star or, or whatnot. So let's play it again. The fucking radiators. I hate them. Never putting a radiator in a hospital. <laughs> so we'll see. I, I want to just play this out to see what this person needs. So it'll tell us. Let me click on them. They have a fever? They need a, a general practitioner. Okay. Uh, they, they are feeling that, too right? cold. Yeah, and, and so this game is actually very good about telling you what you need, where okay. you need to go. If you're uh, too cold, just get a CBS blanket. <laughs> yes. Please don't ask <laughs> for a... Hell yeah. <laughs> please don't ask for a, uh, a radiator. I am not going to build them. <laughs> um, <laughs> so let's just stick this in a corner. Okay. Uh, this is a three by three room. So it'll as you build the room out to the minimum size, it then just populates your uh, icon with the stuff that's necessary. All these things with the splat star gotcha. thing. Can you go bigger if you want to? You can. Okay. Yeah. Um, but there's really no need to. No, it'll increase the prestige and the attractiveness. Gotcha. Of that. Uh, yeah, Abby? Um, as far as money, uh, do you come in with like uh, money from your other levels? No, I think I think it's like each one like has a, a start. I, I believe that's how it's working. I haven't okay. really been paying attention because money hasn't been that big an issue for okay. me. I always put this desk in backwards and let's see if I can nail it the first time. I always put it in like this and then the oh. doctor has to sit with their back to the wall <laughs> uh, and then it, it annoys me. So this needs a desk and it needs a filing cabinet. Uh, and then the room is complete. So you see the prestige up here? It's not super great. That's just for that room. Yeah, if okay. I start making it bigger, you see it goes up? Yeah. But like, what a waste of my time, right? Who needs- Put some couches if in. it's an important doctor. Mm, goodbye, 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 wow. goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. We'll get there, we'll get there. So the thing is, I, I usually I wanna get the hospital running first before mm -hmm. I start the niceties. Uh, so this is the minimum you need for this room, and then you need a doctor in it. So we need to hire. Seems like it's pretty easy to build. A doctor, pretty easy to build. So I'll, I'll kind of go into my first. Jurgen Bungle. <laughs> I, that's my doctor thing too. I'll go into my first nitpick, which is, you can't copy and paste rooms, mm. uh, and this comes into play later on when this starts having a line for seven people, 
and you're like, oh, I'll just build another one next to it. You just have to build the room again. You can't just like say, hey, when I make these, I like the file cabinet to be here. I like it to have a desk. Yeah, I can't just say, hey, copy and paste. Right. At least huh. not that I know of. Like, I can't hold down shift and like then have another one. Yeah, it, that's annoying. It, it seems like a thing we've gotten past, right? Yeah. Like, it should be there. Maybe just it'll call Quality of later. life stuff. Oh, it's going to kick him out because uh, <laughs> I edited it, but we're okay. So. <laughs> Again, I'm just kind of going through this step by step. Usually you'd build all the stuff at the same time. This person's going to mill about, so let's put a bench in front of their office. So they're waiting for they're Dur waiting, Durgan yeah. Bungle. Yep. So now I think they want a pharmacy. Uh, diagnosis required. Oh, no. Further diagnosis required. So they need uh, um, something else to figure out what they have. Edna Slime. Edna Slime. Whoa. That's a terrible name. You think she married into it? or <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Uh, I'm going to build the general diagnosis room. And for this, I'm just going to put uh, these rooms next to each other for now. So again, minimum stuff in here is going to be this and a little, uh, I don't know what you call this. Those like tables, oh diagnosis table. And this needs a nurse. So let's hire Examination a table. Examination table. Do you control things like window placement or anything? Not windows. Okay. Uh, not the outside windows, but you can cover them up. They don't penalize you. Um, so this means they're good in the ward. This means they're they have stamina. Let's just hire the best one. Yeah. In the uh, the salary is that like like that thirty four hundred? Is that just a one time thing? No, or is that that's kind of where it starts. We'll get into that. It's kind of uh, yeah. where I start getting a little okay. Like I don't want to do this. <laughs> uh, this part I like. So they're getting a, a better diagnosis, uh, and then you start getting these messages over here. Okay. Some part of the country are quite cold. Oh man. This is what I hate. I did not like this. Uh, air conditioners and radiators. Okay. Okay. Uh, the fracture ward, right? So somebody is has been diagnosed with a thing I don't have to treat them. So they're saying we can either get the patient to wait or I can send them home. If they wait too long, they're going to get pissed off and leave and I'm going to suffer for it. Okay. But I, I think we can handle this. Uh, let's get them to wait and then I'll look and see if we have the fracture ward. When you say you'll, you'll suffer, is it just the lost money from the patient or will it impact I think my your... like, reputation will go down. Okay. So this is a four by three room, which is going to make my hospital look terrible, but just bear... This is... See, it's, this is a three by four. Oh, that's not so bad. I've had worse. Okay. So this is a desk that's going to be used for check-in. I've never built this before, so I'm not exactly sure what this room needs what to is, look like. Oh, is that like a cast maker? I think so. Oh, boy. I might have needed to make this a little bigger. Uh, works mm, fine for me. Make it work. We're only putting one in here. So this looks like this is a traction bed. This looks similar to the ward where you'd want to service multiple people at a right. time. Right. So I'm going to actually make this a little bigger uh, and put a, a bed. And again, you have to be careful with... Can people get in and out of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And that's where it's like, this is unreachable. I can see how this would be annoying if you have to make like several of these rooms. And yeah. All right, desk, and two beds, now the caster. So things, it snaps to a grid. If you hold down, you can turn that off. Also, you can hold down control and just get really slight movement if you want. Okay. And you can kind of wiggle stuff in and out um, to be like, ooh, yeah, ee, ah, I can get it, you okay. know, if you need to. Uh, but let's just do this and start it up. And I think this is going to need a, another nurse who is way underqualified, but go in there. Okay. How do you get more staff to... Uh, it like repopulates every... So you'll get new applicants okay, in three days. And uh, you can train them, yeah? I, that, again, goes into a part of the game that I'm not super excited about. Okay. Uh, I, and I can show that off quickly later. I just kind of wanted to show you building the hospital. Mm -hmm. So... Uh oh! Nope. Here comes here comes somebody who's gonna be. I mean, they look fine to me. They're walking in. Uh, this person needs a ward, and this is probably gonna tell me right here, so we can get them to wait. Poor his head. A ward is. Uh, I think I, we are at the point where we're gonna start buying a new land. But a ward is similar to that traction room, where you kind of want to automatically just make it bigger than it needs to be, just uh, to get a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, I'll just make it this big. Uh, it needs the check-in desk, and then it needs a changing room. For show people to get into their little like things with the butt flap. Oh yeah, their dressing gown. Yeah, dressing their, like the their hospital, hospital gown. gown, and then these beds, right? So it can do. So you see, if I put it here, nobody can get to that. Mm -hmm. mm. So, we gotta so they kinda, like don't let you. Yeah, they don't let you. That's so you, you can kind of pair them off. Uh, but the, you know, you kind of run into some issues like, oh, um, that's that. That kind of stinks. And it'll, they get in from the front, or is the changing room blocking that? Uh, if I move the changing room, it would be okay. So okay. I probably move this. So like this? Huh. I don't think oh it no, is. it actually is yeah. not. You're right. Weird. Uh, let's just move this. It doesn't matter. Um, I can probably do something like this, but then it looks terrible. <laughs> Why would you do that? 
Uh, you, so you can put in your own windows, but like these windows, I don't think you can delete. Okay, but you can add them. Yeah. So let's start that up. We're gonna need a um, uh, a hire. Everybody wants a window into the into the ward. We had a good ward nurse that is floating around this hospital somewhere. You can check the staff to be like, okay, this was the good nurse for the ward, so we can actually pick them up. The name generator seems very good in this. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're enjoying that? Yes. Yep. Nigel Pond seems very British. Spencer yes. Tingle. Um, <laughs> Jurgen Bergle. Uh, the other nice thing about the ward is you can also go in here and say, okay, we need more staff in here. Okay. This is a minimum like two staff room or something like that. And so if you just hit like plus two there, I mean, does that just randomly yep. pull from the applicants? It'll, the people are, I found this game pretty good at filling empty spaces. Uh, pathfinding can be a little weird sometimes where you're watching somebody not quite sure, but as staff like go, go on breaks and stuff, it usually fills in okay. That's good. Yeah. So like this person just left and is going to go find something else to do. I assume we'll go to where they're needed. So again, we'll wait to see what the next thing is so you can see how... Uh, oh, boy. Oh, I, that's not my work. has a cast. That's not my... I didn't do that. I kind of <laughs> want to see how this whole room works. I've never seen it before. Ooh. Sometimes it's fun to watch what they do. It looks like he's just checking in on the old traction bed. Patients this guy wants some... Uh, just... Yeah, let yourself in. <laughs> yeah, have a seat. Do you need to get a receptionist for the little rooms, or is that just so the doctors can like put in their information? Oh, they're cold. Okay. Uh, no, the the nurse will usually sit at the desk. Okay. okay. Uh, so not if, like a dedicated receptionist. No, no. If I had okay. two nurses, one would be here. Ew, checking is that a in. bedpan on the desk? That's gross. They have stuff to do there. That working. is gross. Okay. They're, they're, they're that is working. gross. Uh, okay. So. This looks like one of those uh, places, uh, unfortunately for me, I just don't like the radiator stuff. Uh, and we can go in and look at the heat map. And by heat map, I don't just mean hot cold. I mean like, hey, anything broken? Oh, people mm. Are people happy or sad? That's cool. Are they hungry or not? Um, but you can also look at the temperature stuff, which is, those are toilets. I should build some toilets. Uh, hunger. Where the heck is the temperature stuff? There it is. Uh, this is a cold hospital. Okay. So I need to go in and I need to stick in the old radiators. So you can filter the items. There are a lot of them. Um, and you can just find, it's very easy to find. Oh, cool. Stuff. I have to buy it. What's fine. K75, K50? Um, oh, you know, I should have shown this to you before I got in there. Oh, can I not buy this? Do I not have? Okay. You have it selected. Now you just need to like use your cursor. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I think there it is. So what is oh, this? sorry, I do. Okay. Is there a K currency? Yes, well? yeah, sorry. That's what Abby was asking. Um, okay. I'll actually, let me back out because I forgot to show you this. So it's a kudosh or something. They call them points. And it's basically points you get for completing objectives or okay. getting stars in hospital hospitals. Unfortunately, you have to, for some stuff, you have to come out here to collect them. Oh, so, weird. So, yeah. So cure 100 patients. I have to come back out to this menu to collect 100K. So it's like a challenge list and you're, yeah. you're getting rewards. I really for it. do okay. wish it either automatically gave it to you or you didn't have to come out here to get it. It seems that, unnecessary. It does seem unnecessary. Um, why do I have an exclamation point there? So, oh, okay. Uh, it does. And then I'll jump back into our hospital. Uh, so radiators, radiators, but we can also unlock stuff later. Maybe we can unlock a cooler radiator. That one looked really bad. I mean, I have some standards. Uh, then it's an air conditioner. Uh, that's a small air conditioner. Okay. So I don't have the small, uh, radiator unit yet. At least it's not red anymore. Uh, okay. Oh, that's weird. What? It's turning red, right? Am I, or am I, it's is blue it right now. No, it turns yellow. Oh, is this but right now? It's blue. Is this not red here? This no, color? Oh, it's okay. Black. Oh, it's black. Okay. I'm sorry. The 200 is like me. the background. of that. It lo Yeah. It looked different than this color here. Oh, no, they're the it's, same. They're yeah. the same. Okay. That's just, me. uh, anyway, let's put in radiators you see the it is now heating up the rooms. Are they pretty good about not blocking things? Are they tiny yeah, enough? Yeah, you can get a smaller one. Or at least I believe that last time I, I did this, I had smaller ones. Uh, but like... Dude, that guy's bed's going to be so cozy. Yeah. <sighs> I want to be away from that thing. We're cold. <laughs> uh, and you got to put them in the lobbies too. It's just one of those things. This is why some of the copy and paste would be nice. Hmm. Because as you... It's, it's not included as a default item when you're building the room. It would be nice if it were. Okay. I mean, it, it, listen, it's not a deal breaker. It's just one of those things. I'm painless? 
I if, guess if you're doing it again and again and again. Yeah, like each time we build a room, we'll have to remember to put them in. Hmm. Uh, it just seems unnecessary. Like, or what it, does it add to you gameplay-wise is what you're saying? Yeah, it's like, yeah, uh, I don't know. And can you add, like, a specific hotkey for, like, select radiator? Can, can you get that specific uh, with you it? You know, I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I didn't get in there. You can for, I think, the items list. I right. mean, it's not hard to get to. That's not the point. The, like my, the thing I don't like about it is not even the gameplay mechanic. It's just that if there were a copy and paste room mechanic, I think I'd be cool. Because the, the flow of building a room is such that it automatically just takes you to the next item you need right. to get this done. And then you have to go into the list and find the radiator. Gotcha. Uh, all right. So I think so far we're good. Uh, so once you get uh, 50 patients cured, is that when you move to a two-star hospital? Based on that top right? This will get me my first star. In the oh, hospital. so you don't have one yet. Yeah. Oh, right. We just started. Uh, okay. So this these emergencies come in, and these are basically like, hey, we're going to have five, page, uh, five patients come in that need to be healed uh, can you handle it? I haven't seen, maybe you get a reputation hit, but I haven't seen too much penalty or at least it hasn't been that visible for failing them. Uh, and now here's your promotion stuff. This person uh, right. will gain an extra training slot and all these other benefits here with a salary increase. Nigel's a good guy. Nigel's great. Yeah. So you can actually, you know, make them very happy mm, well. or you can, uh, you know, just give them what they ask for. Can, you cut, can you cut pay? You, I think you can lower pay. Again, I haven't gotten that money, um, Conscious, you know, okay. so I usually just go with what they want, but also this stuff starts happening at a rate that's like you're just getting this stuff all the time. So you're like, okay, we need a training room. Let's start. Uh, let's actually buy some more property because we're going to run out of space. Here. Does it feel pestering? Like, are you constantly getting so that's, pop ups? Yeah. So at some point, it does start to feel like okay, just just automatically train, like just promote uh, sure. everybody. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, this is a very this is only. If I had been doing this on my own, this would have taken two minutes to get to this point in this hospital. Right. Because I would have just built it all. These take about 15 days usually or so to um, to uh, build out. What are those flashing hats? Those, that's the emergency stuff. See, they're, they're all going to start oh, piling okay. up here. Actually, you should make this bigger and put somebody else on staff. Uh, this is that uh, fracture emergency. Right. That's a hallway, right? Yeah. So when, whenever like a big emergency check happens and there's a big influx, can you, uh, you can always pause and just like... Yep. Get ready? Okay. Yeah, and, and you kind of should. That's good. Uh, not, not a lot of like time crunch type stuff where you're like super speedy having to do stuff. Nah, that's why, I, and that's also why I immediately map the pause button. Gotcha. Because uh, it, it wasn't at first. Okay. That's, that seems okay. Oh man, the space into this. It's pretty <laughs> good, right? Like this hospital? Oh, that's <laughs> the good stuff. Um, okay, so here they come. Please don't kick everybody out. They probably will. And you need to put down benches or anything? I am going to put down benches in a second. Also, don't forget the radiator. Oh, damn it. See? It's exactly... No. Oh. Are, th are there ever... Um, and then, like, going back to the, you know, getting back into here and... Are there ever multiple floors for a hospital? I haven't gotten to multiple floors, but they do the plot, and it essentially becomes the same thing. Hmm. Is uh, there, like, an eyedrop tool or anything to, like... I know there's no copy and paste for full rooms, so but can you just be like, just give me this item... Kind of no, I haven't no, and like there's okay. not even a hey right like hey just cop dupe this. Yeah, I mean once you're on it, um, and you place it down, it'll generally if you've selected it just right. keep it on just there. But it yeah, like yeah, sure. I must have put something in a bad spot. Uh, okay, let's kick it. <laughs> Everybody get back in there. I like that. Uh, let's add a, another staff here. Uh, and yeah, we'll put a bench over there. Okay. It's a great looking hospital. I'm digging is, the music. What game is it where the cops have the flashing hats? Uh, are you thinking of Ape Escape the where they're... I think that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> that's probably what I'm thinking of. They're not cops, they're monkeys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's nobody here. Uh, I'm going to hire another nurse. Uh, and let's go build that training room. Uh, and this is where stuff, I think, kind of started to lose its charm for me a little bit. Uh, up until the training stuff, I was way into what was going on here. Yeah, I'm digging it so far. Yeah, so training room, uh, this, we'll put a couple of desks in here. So once you get a training room, you can go in and start a training course. So if you want, so only people who are trained in psychiatry can treat, uh, or do practice psychiatry. Makes sense, right? Right. Uh, so let's say we want to get a, a doctor trained in psychiatry. Um, we have one person on staff who has an available slot. Those little circles when you hire somebody, right? Right. 
Uh, you have to get a trainer. If I had somebody who was already trained in psychiatry, I could just use them. But uh, I'm just going to hire somebody. You can see it costs ten thousand uh, dollars plus five grand per person. Like we're fine, uh, and we'll put the doctor who has the free slot to go to go do it. Uh, you can do. I think it's up to three at a time per training room. Even though I, I once I, I'm pretty sure I can't be positive on this. Put more desks in there. I think it was only three. Huh. Uh, but I could be I, wrong on that one. So we start the training. It, it takes a while, but it's going to pull. Bungle. It's going to pull the doctor I have off duty. So when he's done, he's gonna leave uh, and go. So I need to make sure I have a doctor to take this take his place. Melissa Radical. Oh, well, uh, I'm sad we're not getting Tiffany Eggman. <laughs> uh, here comes the guy who's gonna train, the guy I hired. Uh, so they're gonna train and they're gonna be tied up for a bit. So this is the part where, well, I think I think at this point I'm gonna bounce to my I'm gonna quick save I'm gonna bounce to a, a bigger hospital and show you. So are all of your hospitals uh, on that main map? Are they kind of running concurrently? So like you can go they back to pause. one. Well, yeah, they pause, but like yeah. you can go back and pick up. And, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to here, which is, is kind of a bigger hospital. I have fluttering. Uh, it's not huge, but you can Ooh. see. Why Carnival. do you have circus tents? Uh, because this uh, there's like a clown uh, problem where what? Yeah, they have to go. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you can see, like, you know, it becomes kind of a mill, right? Yeah, I I've like got it. Uh, my general practitioner space. I opened up this new area, which has kind of become my diagnosis space. Uh, but I'm gonna start getting a lot of notifications and I want the staff to constantly be training right uh, which means they're constantly going to be getting pulled off of stuff and I, it's hard to kind of keep track in your head how that's happening uh, I almost wish it just in this training scenario just said okay this guy's idle or, or um, they're, they're not being used and that stuff information is there but I it's not presented in a way that makes it efficient for me to play this game. So is it like like in a Warcraft or something where you have like a, a peon that's not building something or harvesting yeah, something? Yeah, I mean, that's the There's, there's no like F1 to like I, go I think, to them? I think that, that information actually is there. It's just not... It's not there in a way f for the mechanics to not feel burdensome. Okay. Uh, so this is another emergency. We're going to get four uh, patients who basically just need uh, psychiatry. Uh, I've got two psychiatry rooms here. I think we should be okay. So I'm gonna speed things up a little bit. How do you fix the clowns? Uh, they go into this, uh, like, basically this, well, I forget what they call Some it. Some like What's weird clockwork orange room or? <laughs> A dehumifier. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, there's this mime, they go in here. <laughs> uh, I forget, you know, they have, um, Lentils. Uh, what do they have? Well, they have an appointment at the clown clinic. That's certainly what they have. Let's watch them be dehumorified. That's sad. <laughs> I'm not a big clown fan, but uh -huh. they seem to be having fun. Why do they have to stop being clowns? <laughs> oh, they don't have to stop. They have to be. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this, this is process. fucking horrible. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. That's cool. Why did you do that to him? I loved that. Um, yeah. Well, yes. they, they, you know, they weren't intended to be clowns. Okay. Uh, and so now this person is like, I want a promotion. Like, okay, great. You're like, sometimes it gets a little busy worky. Right. Uh, I, I just, just like I, clicking through menus. Yeah, I, I almost want to hire a staff manager just to be, and this is a quick look. This isn't a review. Maybe this stuff is way later in the game. A staff manager just be like, promote people. Just, right, like auto promote or yeah, something. Like yeah, you got it. Uh, this is, um, says I need to relax more. what does he have? Does it say? Even no, he just got a Gerald Dread, Dread, the mime. <laughs> Uh, he's part part of the mime crisis. My search calls. How do you fix mimes? Oh, just the psychiatry. Psychology. Yeah. Psychiatry. Yeah. So I can build like if I think this is queuing up too much, uh, I can build another room. I can also give priority to patients mm. and say, okay, listen, I'm sorry, but you, you're not part of this epidemic. How is a mime so, supposed to talk to a therapist? He doesn't. I just point out. <laughs> oh, they like they do like the pulling rope thing. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so again, I've got this on uh, fast speed. Let's slow it down a bit. Uh, so same thing that I said with proximity. It kind of seems like you're going to want bathrooms, vending machines, and all this stuff in kind of every room you mm -hmm. make or every hallway, like corridor. Uh, uh, what a plot of land, right? Like people don't want to walk to the other place to use the bathroom. They get very upset. Like, do you feel like this game makes you spin plates in a way that it is, that is not a, a well? 
not I like systems games. Right, right. And and it's some of the stuff that is like uh, being on top of the staff training. Like right now, this is empty. We could definitely train people. Uh, so let's go in here and be like, okay, we need to train people because later on they come in with zero skills, okay. and so you you just won't get people with like psychiatry and stuff. So it's always good to, or I found it good to have people who have this skill so they can sub in. Uh, and like a lot of times, I don't want to pull an extra doctor off, so I'll just. Uh, Oh, we've got a couple of guys here, so let's do it. But I'm not sure where they like. I don't. I don't know where they are right now, right? Right. Yeah. So like, this is what this is what I was kind of talking about. Of like, okay, where are you? Can I pull up the staff thing? But then I've got to go back and I've got to start over again. So there's no just like eyeball button where you click it and it just centers on them or whatever. It does. It does. But you have to be here and then oh. kind of go here and be like, okay, Tony Phoenix is here. Um, you know, where's Jess Dangle? <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Where? Oh, just dangle. <laughs> yes. There's just dangles okay. over here. So let to know where um where just dangles gonna get pulled out from, right? Right. Uh but like let's say Tony Phoenix. Tony Phoenix is over here. You can see he's on break. That's what this means. Um you can see they're in the psychiatry ward. You know, this is a pretty good shorthand for where they are. So he's on break, so we'll add him. We need to know that if we pull let's see, another doctor that we want trained, they're in the GP's office. So we need to know if we pull these two people. They're going to get yanked out of that office. Okay. Uh, so let's go back here. Start training course. Again, we'll go here. We'll go psychiatry. I'm just going to hire somebody. Um, and let's hope that they're not getting pulled from somewhere. I, I feel like certain games can do the, the spinning plates thing well. Um, but it, like... It's the not way terrible. You're, the it's way not you're terrible. It's, it's just... It bumps me out a little bit because I like this game. Right. But it sounds like it, you feel like this is some like different busy work type stuff or like unnecessary things popping up. Is that how you're feeling? Look at this. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. Checks out. <laughs> we should be more Our like that. We should all be more like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, so like, yeah, the busy work makes it so that I have more fun when it's a smaller hospital. Gotcha. And once the systems get too big, I feel like some of the tools there aren't there to manage it. And you're just getting pestered more? A little bit. Like when I buy bigger plots, um, like when I played this in the, the kind of previous version I had, at some point I was just buying big plots to make them, um, I want to make this all a psychiatry ward. Right. Mm -hmm. and like a dedicated building. Yeah. And I would like to just be able to copy and paste seven things here to, to go quickly but it was really the staff management thing i know i I've complained about the radiator thing but like <laughs> it was really mostly the staff management and promotion thing because when you get to the point where people are, are hiring with zero skills it makes it very hard uh because you need like psychiatrists or you need certain people to have the skills to get in there and there's no way to really just like fast track it outside of just throwing them in the training room and i, I couldn't i couldn't find a thing that's like hey if you have you'll get notifications like this um these are just like, hey, you failed uh, a challenge when they have this black exclamation point. Okay. But you'll get notifications that like, hey, this person wants a promotion. Uh, but for me, that wasn't a great system. I just want to be like, okay, if you've if you've got an available slot, instead of going to a staff room, uh, go to a training room right. or something. Get some new skills. It's not really the way the game is built, but it was one of the things that kind of bummed me out. Uh, people do die in the hospital if you mess up their treatment oh, or, wow. or uh, if something bad happens. This doesn't look good. I mean, <laughs> just let's just hire another uh, janitorial staff. Do they fix stuff? Yes, Donald. Uh, so uh, if they have the the maintenance skill, it'll fix stuff better. They also, uh, when people die, they can become ghosts. Great. So you can have like a ghost busting Whoa, trait on your janitor, that's which so fun. I though. think they should definitely, <laughs> definitely have at least one person. I mean, we'll one see one ghostbuster. <laughs> yeah, we'll see somebody not make it because it happens all the time. Uh, so yeah, now the hospital is just kind of running. The the numbers for the queues are good to see, so you can see where stuff is backing up. People get pretty hungry and thirsty. You can get better vending machines that are like organic food and stuff like that. Oh, you can cool. you can get a um uh a food uh. Not cart, but a, a re refreshment stand, like oh, a, okay. a little like a concession, like a, yeah, like a concession okay. thing, like a merch booth uh, gotcha. that you can put in your hospital later on, which also helps. I found a little bit of understanding the um, mechanics of why people are getting hungry or not to not be super clear. Sometimes I'll have vending machines and and not understand why people are just not using them and that might just be a proximity thing. So those people that are red, is that, uh, are they hungry right yeah, now? Yeah, those is are people, so you can see he's gone over gotcha. there. 
Cat um, Cougar. <laughs> Cat Cougar's gone there, but uh, my poor uh, the therapist. Jeez, so yeah. They probably That's need to go on break, break pretty soon, and uh, you know, I put some stuff in the break room. Do they uh, go to break on their own, or do you tell them? To? They go to break on their own. Okay, that's good. Yeah, if you had to tell them, boy, I think I would, I would have had to stop playing. <laughs> that's a bit of micromanagement that I yeah. can deal with. No, like generally, I think the flow is pretty good. I think once the hospitals get to a certain size, some of that starts to break down. So, okay, so here's a good example of, hey, no, we're good. We are actually okay. Uh, of okay, we've got this place. Let's say we wanted to make this the psychiatry ward, right? Right. So normally I'd go in here, I'd just click edit, I'd bring this room over here, and this all works great. Like, just plop it down, mechanics feel good, you're good. But so you're moving existing rooms mm -hmm. to a different plot, and yeah. that, that's fine. Okay. And that's fine. And that'll take everything that you've put in there yeah. as well? Okay. That's it's great. Good. Everything that's in the room works. But now to make more, I really wish I could just copy right. and paste this yeah. instead of having to do this, um, go into psychiatry, do this. That's yeah. Do, I can see how this would get really tedious. Do this. Do this. Oh, man, yeah. Do this. Do this. Do this. You know, so on, so forth. Yeah, right? yeah. Do this. Oh boy, this one's gonna happen. Okay, listen. I get the sense that you like a lot of things this game is doing. You I just really feel do. like there are some things that kind of get in the way of enjoying it as also, much things, as you could. Yeah, I, I think things they could actually fix. Uh, oh, like through patches and stuff. Yeah, yeah that's a hallway. Um, so stuff like that. It's not a deal breaker, but it got me to the point where I stopped making. You said, "Why does this hospital look so bare?" Mm -hmm. It got to the point where I stopped making it look nice because then I have to go in. If I made this room look awesome, um, if I click on it, you can get the kind of recommended items, which is sometimes nice. Like, oh, let's put a nice filing cabinet in here. You have to do it every time. Every time oh, you make man. a new one, you have to do it. Put yeah. a bookcase in here. So, like when I first started playing, I was making everything look awesome. And then I was like, okay, now just make the room. Yeah. Uh, I should put a bathroom. Uh, toilets are kind of fun, too. Uh, let's do a toilet. Uh, let's build a toilet here. There's like <laughs> toilet pods. Uh, Concert. I don't know why they don't require a sink and hand dryer, but I refuse to make a bathroom that doesn't. Yeah. Matter. It's it's a In hospital. A hospital. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so let's hit okay. And it, so that's kind of the flow of it. Oh, you heard that? That this person just died. Oh. Let's hope they turn into a ghost. Is that a mime? What is that? That uh, person is just mopping something up and Vladimir does not seem Fenders. to care. Okay, so oh, you see this on the floor? Yeah. That that's a ghost? monobrow that got loose. What? Uh, there's an ailment that's like monobrow. Wait, that that's like funny. like a unibrow? Yeah. And they just crawl around? And you gotta zap them. That's... <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so they crawl around the hospital. It's pretty gross. So this guy's got, uh, I forget what they're called. Let's call Pan. Panhead. Uh, Pandora Pickles. Uh, uh, so that, and then they have to go to Pan's lab. I mean, like the, okay. the, the puns are fun. All right. Panhead. I mean, what is a panhead? What, like, what is it? Or is what's that a the pun? joke? What's the oh, joke? I made that up. I forget what it's called. Is it pothead? Uh, <laughs> you know, it might be called pothead. I think <laughs> it's, I forget what it's called. Uh, oh, it's part of the pandemic. Okay. Oh. Should be pothead. Should be pothead. Maybe they had pothead at first. So again, uh, special report. We did that uh, thing which had the uh, psychiatric stuff, right? They had, we saw Freudian lips. I right. Think it was. Uh, Donald here thinks it says, "Can you cure ten patients? Bet you can't." And so, sure, yeah, I'll try it. Um, what's the mime thing called? What was it? Henry Vape. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna use all these names to check into hotels. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing that you have to hide to check into the hotel as Henry Pate? I just like fun names. Um, <laughs> uh, so you can see these benches are old benches from um, from here. Mm -hmm. Which I can put here, over in... Wow, it's really, uh, really filled up in here pretty quickly. Uh, so that that's... A, oh, this is... We need some more run-in. Uh, this is a cardiology room. So you can see the queue in here is for six people. Oh. Oh. So again, would love to just copy and paste this next to it, but let's uh, let's make more. I, I really apologize if I'm missing some mechanic that is that, but uh, I haven't I haven't found it. I mean, it seems like there's enough good stuff here that I hope to hear in a few months that like, oh, they fixed a lot of that yeah. stuff that was bugging people about this game. Yeah, or or at least just bugging me. I can't speak yeah, for yeah. everybody. Uh, it's something that, like I said, as the hospitals get bigger and tougher to manage more problems and more of the gameplay stuff, game mechanics start to fall apart. It gets right. really heavy. 
in a way that's like, oh, the pathfinding can get a little weird. I, I don't have it here. I had it in my other save, but like the pathfinding can get really intense because it's crowded and you've got stuff that's like, this is an entire ward full of rooms here, right? Yeah, and like multiple plots and everything. Yeah, and like yeah. where to place uh, uh, vending machines and all that stuff and proximity. Uh, I wish on like the heat map for food and drink, the vending machine stuff kind of had a bubble of, yeah. of like, oh, this is, people will be attracted to that stuff here. Right. Uh, I like these constant pop-ups that you should be more like Danny O'Dwyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they happen in life too. Yes. I just have it actually come up on my screen constantly. <laughs> right. It's a uh, you should uh, you should update OS to OS oh, really? ten point okay. one, and then also ten point one. How old is that? Uh, and you should be more like Danny O'Dwyer on my Mac. Oh, great. <laughs> and I just hit snooze mostly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remind me later at night. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that, that's kind of uh, theme hospital, not theme hospital, two point hospital. Uh, I like it a lot. It's I think it gets burdened or weighed down a bit later on um, by some of the things I've already mentioned. Okay, that, that make it a little bit less fun. That's too bad. It looks like there's some cool stuff here. So yeah, I'm like it really is. By it. Uh, yeah. yeah, and I, like I said, like when I first started playing it, I was like, this is awesome. I'm gonna spend a lot of time in here. And then as I started making things bigger and bigger, it was like, oh, okay. I don't know if I want to. Like this training room's empty. People need training. Yeah. Uh. And coming in here and being like, okay, let's keep training. Uh, it can be a little, I don't know. Yeah. That part I don't enjoy as much. Anyway, $35. Okay. Yeah. All right. I would call that near half price of a full retail game. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. yeah I'd say so. Uh, so like, I, I do like it, but some of the, some of those problems. All right. Thanks everybody. Thank, Thank you, you, Vinny.